Hi guys! Welcome to another edition of Hobby Hangout. Today, it's me, Danny, Terrain Specialist, with Tanner, Hello. our awesome lead production dude. Uh, today, we're going to be painting walls. Want to go through some announcements, Tony? Let's do it. All right. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in, guys. All right, so we have the normal stream schedule, but we're doing something very special for you guys this Tuesday. Uh, we are doing a uh, Primecast. Uh, Primecast is coming back. Uh, we're going to tell you all the cool stuff that's going on. I'm going to be on there with Brian McLaughlin again. We're going to talk about what we have planned for Hobby Hangout, some of the stuff that we're bringing towards you guys. Uh, and then, again, it's always the standard normal stuff that you guys can expect from us otherwise. But tune in Tuesday. Uh, we're going to be doing a Primecast. Next. So, we are looking for more subscribers. Once we get to 100 subscribers, we will unlock the Donut Factory emote. We have some really, really cool emotes that you can see when you're a subscriber. You can see to your left there. Uh, Gubbin's definitely my favorite. He's the best. Uh, so, be sure to subscribe. We'll see when you do. Uh, we'll call you out and it'll be awesome. Uh, 100 subs unlocks the Donut Factory. Uh, mini Crate. Uh, Non-metallic Newman is really, really sweet. That's our newest mini crate. Uh, subscribe by November 19th and get your non-metallic Newman. This is an alternate version of Aurora. Aurora, yeah. Aurora yes. without the armor. It's a super cool model. Have you been casting that one, Tanner? I haven't seen it yet, but it's I'm sure sweet. my team's working on it. It's sweet. All right. So today, we're going to paint walls. Want to go to the palette cam? We're going to speed paint walls. Tanner and I are going to have a competition. We're going to have a competition and see who can paint more walls. Uh, so so how, many, how many walls do you each have in front of you approximately? Let's see. I have... I have 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You should give me two of those. All right. Do you have... Here's a couple, okay. Here's a long one. Dope. Couple Nailed it. All right. Also, something we wanted to uh, let you guys know is um, these are our really, really sweet walls from, the, uh, from our tournaments that you can see all over our conventions, right? People have been asking about these and where they can get them for years. And we have finally decided to sell them on the store. Wow, I can't put this under the camera. To you guys. So these will be available, or they are available now. Uh, you can get the pack of two resin ones for uh, eight bucks. And then uh, we also have a special deal going on right now, which is super awesome, where we are going to sell a paint kit of these sweet, sweet, sweet paints. Uh, you'll get Menoth White Highlight, Rucksack Tan, Guncore Brown, Bastion Gray, Menoth White Highlight, Exile Blue, and you'll get a sweet flat brush and two wall templates for $25. Wow. I'll post that. Uh, I'm posting that link. And, in there. Uh, and don't forget the large flat brush large that's not in the picture. Large flat brush. I'm going to use all these paints in a second here to crush Tanner into the ground while we speed paint walls and see who That wins. seems highly unlikely, especially considering he does this professionally. You do. You don't know. <laughs> anyway, that was an awkward silence. I'm going to start painting walls. Let's get after it. I also want to point out one more thing. If uh, we do have an option, if you already have many of the paints um, that are part of this wall and paint pack, you can buy the walls separately. Yes. Uh, if you just want Eight walls. Bucks. So I will post that as well. So yes. we're going to go ahead and start off with some of this Bastion Gray that's included in the pack. And we're just going to take the same large flat brush that's included in there and just put a nice layer on there. We don't have to be too worried about any of our edges at this point because we're just going to paint over anything that we touch. I don't worry about anything ever. Boop, 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 ba -doo -doo. Paint, paint, paint. All I worry Shove about paint, is paint, crushing paint, Danny paint. in this head-to-head. -head. <laughs> so, Pete, yeah, chat, please. So bam. Post, uh, post who you think is going to win. In fact, let me see if I can get a uh, so straw poll up pull, here. Get up, pull. I'm going to get a poll up. I got my base coat on this first wall template for the stone, and I'm just going to move right along, try to balance my workload. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> it's called planning, Danny. Yeah, I don't know what the that is. The tortoise and the hare, buddy. I don't know anything about planning. I just make stuff, man. It so just kind of happens. I find that if you're trying to get some stone walls like this done really quickly, you can start out with a dark gray base coat, and you can layer up with a slightly lighter gray, throw a black wash on it, 
and take an off-white like this Menoth white highlight, give it a quick dry brush, and you are done. You're doing it wrong. You're I'm supposed to use blue and purple. Oh, really? I can't wait to see this. For your wash? For your base coat, for everything. Really? Blue yeah, and purple Tanner. for your base coat for everything? Yeah, don't you know how to paint? <laughs> uh, Just put the brightest color you can as the base coat. Yeah, I'm I actually, I should you. probably be base coating this in like maybe a white mixed with an orange. Thanks, Nari. I knew I could count on you. Tanner's <coughs> a poser. He's never going to beat me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Loser. So I'm still just... So I don't know what color I'm using now. I think I'm using Bastion Gray. I think I mixed some armor wash into it, and I'm just shoving it all over this thing. But I also, uh, I primed this black, for, uh, and then I dusted it with gray. So we already kind of have a good... Uh, almost stony base to go off of anyway. This is going on here really nice and easily. Shaggy wants to know, uh, Shaggy9342, Danny, you're using a darker base coat. Is that for the shadows? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just a high, yeah. I would say yes. It I mean, all depends. I mean, I guess the question would be, I'll, ref I'll rephrase it. Why did you not use a lighter gray color to start? Because I want to be able to build up uh, the lighter colors after. Um, and uh, so, you know, it's, it's easier to just have a darker base coat because when I dry brush and use some of the techniques that I'm going to use over it, uh, I want that base coat to read a shadow. Exactly. It accentuates your natural shadows because once you've painted a dark coat on there, it's really easy to find the high points where the light's coming at it and put a highlight on those parts. Right. Now you guys are blasting through this. <clears throat> I actually, it, like, I'm looking at the screen, and it well, looks like I've sped Tanner up I'm somehow. I'm professional, digitally. and Danny's a semi-pro, so <laughs> that's how yeah, it this goes. Is, this Dan, Danny plays a professional on TV. Dude, it's so true. I'm such a hack. Um, <laughs> like, not only am I somehow the hobby and terrain specialist for Privateer Press, I also managed to... Wedge my way into being a college professor. Danny, like, what is, is the, wrong uh, with the world? The man? embodiment of fake it till you make it. <laughs> it's so true. And somehow the resume has become good. Like just random. I think I just like. <laughs> it's fall true. I job. actually worked there. Yeah. Like <laughs> none of it's a lie. It's just why did they decide to make this poor choice? For those know? of you that don't know, Danny teaches at a very prestigious local digital university. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> very prestigious. We're working on it. We're working on it. If any of my students are there, hi. I know sometimes you guys tune into live stream. If any of your students are there, they should play War Machine and probably paint some walls with us with this paint Danny's kit. Danny's confidence while answering queries, astounding, LOL. <laughs> I just make stuff, man. <laughs> Hi, Jeff, Jeff Hanley wants to know if uh, if you have if you wear elbow patches because you're, <laughs> because you're a professor. Elbow patches, yeah, like on your like suede yeah. elbow patches yeah. on your jacket. Oh, dude, son, I got one at Goodwill the other day that I'm gonna bring out nice. soon. That totally does help. Oh, Nothing Mocha Succulent says Art says uh, uh, she's one of your students. Hi, Kate. Kate did a bad thing yesterday. Kate betrayed my trust. Ooh. Um, I like to send really, really fun emails to everyone. So you're calling her out uh -oh. on stream? I uh -oh. am, because that is what professionalism is. Um, and she retweeted one of my emails saying that I'm basically the pinnacle of professionalism. Yes. When my email had like, I think it had probably like 70 exclamation points in the email announcement. <clears throat> Did you write it in Comic Sans? <laughs> no, but like all caps. And Next like, time. Hi, Kate. Thanks for tuning in. Your piece looked great so far. Work. She came to watch you get beat, yeah, so right. she can tell everyone in class. So you were in like the demo union, Tanner, making. I was in the stuff. laborers union. Mm. Wanna, so is this like kind of like full circle for you, painting tiny walls instead of exploding? <laughs> like real That's one walls? way of looking at it. It's a lot easier on my hands and wrists, believe it or not. Why is it fifty-fifty right now? It's it, it's fifty-fifty. We need we need more people to vote. Where vote on what? I'm gonna, I'm who's gonna, gonna repost, win? I'm gonna repost that poll link. What are we voting on? Is Tanner on who's gonna, who's gonna win? We have a poll going. Oh, dude. Who's gonna paint more walls in 60 minutes? I exude you or Danny? confidence. I'm irrationally upset about how well Tanner's doing right now. Sorry, bud. I don't know, here's the thing. So, Tanner. Yes. Is a competent human. Thanks. But, not Danny, everyone would agree. Danny came into the studio this morning with a lot of energy. Yeah, I came in hot, man. So I'm that, straight might, across that the board. may make up for a lot of his failings. So I'm going ahead. 
the uncontrollable energy yeah. that I have. I'm hitting this wooden door and all this dirt that's kind of intermixed on the bottom there below everything just with a base coat of Battlefield Brown. Nerd. Me too. He's copying me. It's <coughs> well, I got there first, so I'm almost wow. certain that means you're copying me. I so, yeah, we're just shoving a bunch of brown up in there because even if it... The Battlefield Brown's a great color. Um, it's pretty warm. Uh, so even if you, like, miss a spot, let's say you're painting metal, whatever, uh, it's going to read as, like, rust or dirt or something. It's just that perfect kind of in-between in between color yeah. for everything. I really want to point out to... to the viewers right now, and Danny, push your push your wall back on camera. There you go. Uh, you can bring it down a little bit. It's just how fast you're going. Like there is no, they're not taking time doing each section clearly and cleanly. Like it is just blasting through here, and that's not going to contribute to a messy look at the end. As it's long as you're painting your layers thin enough, you should be able to do this on almost anything that's not like a face or something with very heavy detail that you don't want to obscure. But this is definitely, if you're looking to get like a unit of miniatures painted really quickly, you can definitely just kind of slap your base coat on there without having slap to worry the about base. the lines and the edges. Slap and it's going to save you a ton of time. Slap the <laughs> base. I like that Tanner sounds like he knows what he's talking about. And I'm the lying. The thing is, he's lying, but he's actually correct. <laughs> <laughs> like he literally just made up all of that. But because he's never, like this is not a thing Tanner does for us. Well, I have been painting miniatures up. for like 12 years. And uh, he was completely right. Tanner doesn't know anything about outer space. <clears throat> he's, uh, he's just trying to psych me out, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. And I'm it's gonna not going to work. Man. Taylor Cisco says uh, you're, clearly OSHA you're painting sure. so fast it's making them hyperventilate. <laughs> Is that bad for the mic? Does that sound awful? No, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, Tanner is OSHA approved. He is. He actually made my area much safer. Thank you, Tanner. I put, yeah, there was a hole in your floor. There was a, literally. <laughs> 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 it's my fault for asking for that area. My magic. Danny Land, Land is Dandy Land sweet, is though. So cool, Danny man. Land is I built super Dandy rad. Land out really nicely. So for those of you who don't know, we moved into a new building. Uh, the new building is actually fantastic. I really, really like it. Um, but I, I. I begged for this like weird little mezzanine above the warehouse, so that so that he can look down on the rest of us. He could all from the his ele <laughs> elevated perch and throw paper airplanes and stuff down. That's really what I was doing yesterday. That was a lot of yesterday over my breaks was just making paper airplanes and seeing how far I could get them across the warehouse. Um, you should put notes on them, dude. Right, love notes to Charles. Ooh, everybody loves Charles. Charles is the best. He straight up is a serial killer. Though. We got this new guy named Charles. <laughs> He's the nicest person ever. Literally the nicest human I've ever met in my life to the point where it like makes me worry that He's not real, or he's like some guardian angel sent down from the heavens. He's a, he's a solid um, painter too. He's been helping us he out with the uh, with the paint really jam. Good. Yep. Um, but you know, he's like so nice that you think that he's actually like a serial killer. Do you know what I mean? My yeah. Oh, everybody thinks that. My personal view on it though is that if you don't like Charles, you are obviously the one who's wrong. Right. It's There's like no your barometer of like what a good person is is if you like Charles or not. Man, I should. Uh, yeah, definitely. I should probably stop neglecting the short wall templates because I got mad barrels to paint here. Mad barrels. Mad barrels. So what they are angry is keeping my paint super super thin. Um, because since I'm going over that gray, it's actually going to kind of uh. It's going to shade it. Um, it's going to shade it for you, basically. Man, Tanner's getting all sorts of love, and I'm getting all sorts of jealous. Well, Where it's because you're... Students? Come back and share your it's, teacher I'm on. new and exciting, and you are old news. That's all it is. Fake news. Fake news. Ooh. I wouldn't go that far, Danny. You're very real to me. Uh, the poll is still 50%. Still 50-50. Yeah. Where's my shooters out there, guys? Come on. We've got to pump those numbers. Those are rookie numbers. Rookie numbers. <laughs> rookie, rookie. You know, it's going to not be fun um, waiting for this to dry. I know. I'm looking at my walls and, like, the gray's still wet, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Have you ever just dumped a piece of terrain in muddy water just to, like, maybe that's just me. <laughs> if I'm really, really in a rush, I've literally just shoved paint inside some water and just dunked a piece in it to do the stage that I'm doing right now. Tanner. Like, Tanner, will you mind doing me a favor? What's up, man? Hold your hand under the camera, and Danny, you hold your hand under the camera, like your your the hand that you're holding the wall with, under under your where your wall was. 
I want people. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the, if there's a tie, that's going to be the extra credit point. Right, it's just the cleanliness and tidiness because that's uh, accuracy oh, well. of execution. I better not have it be a tie. <laughs> I am an organization <laughs> pro. <laughs> I am not. I squirted a bottle of green metallic all over my painting. It was kind of like clogged at the tip, but I didn't understand that. So I just kind of kept squeezing on it and oh. it popped the dropper oh. tip off and just blew it all over my desk while I was trying to paint my Dreyfus. And nice. I luckily didn't didn't splatter him at all, but it was and a luckily huge. Luckily, you totally mess. weren't using a green metallic in a dropper bottle, because that's a bad choice. <laughs> I was trying to put it in my uh, metallics and dropper bottles, dude. Are never in my in my palette. for me. The thing. Oh, is, really? Yeah. I'll end up doing that careful. with dropper bottles or with any any bottle where it, it's stuck and you're squeezing it out like that, and I will know that it's clogged. And I'll think, I need to get a pin. I need to get something to push in no, here and get that clog. But I'm just going to go. But harder. I'm going to spend five more seconds trying to force it out. And I regret it every time as it shoots all over the place. Yeah, man. It's like those lessons that you never learn. I know, like, right? You it, could put your hand in a fire, right, is the old yeah. oddish, and you'll know. But yeah. right. It's like Adam always tells me from Broken Egg, our, our, um, our token our partner, man. Our partner for our tokens, he always tells me when I'm being an idiot. Danny, don't touch. Stop touching the hot stove. Yeah. Don't, don't touch the hot stove is like, <laughs> is like my motto. With there, was a, there was a very good balance of personalities between the three of us at Gen Con. I, just, <laughs> I don't know if balance was the right word. <laughs> uh, we, got a, we got a good question from Luke McCool. And unfortunately, I don't have the answers perfectly right now. I should. Danny might know. Uh, I can't remember which all the colors that they showed off. But we have... Um, he wants to know what the new colors coming out for P3 are. Ooh, I don't oh, even know you, anything about if that If you yet. haven't heard, we are releasing 24 new colors throughout 2020. So, and six of those new colors have been shown off ooh, on various outlets. They're really cool. I've seen all of the colors that we're going to release, like the whole lineup, and they're fantastic. Now, off the top of my head, what we're releasing, early, like the first ones... The only ones I know for a fact right now is we've got like the Corvus Blue um, mm. color... And we've got that, uh, that really, really bright kind of like galvanized gold. Um, it's like a white rose gold. Uh, but I don't know. Oh, and then we've got, I think, the, uh, that like warmish skin color for the, um, for, the, uh, for the planet eaters. Oh, right. Yeah. The, oh, like, yeah. yeah that's right. There's, skin. A, yeah, yeah. there's a, couple of, uh, a couple of colors that, that correspond with planet eaters. Like exactly yeah, what they were, the sweet. mix were for the studio paint. That's pretty cool. But we've got some really, like, some of the colors coming out are really, really cool. I think Danny is uh, healthily pulling ahead of me now. What, what's, your, what's your count right now, Tanner? How many of you? Uh, I have, let's see, four of them base coated in both gray and brown, and it looks like Danny has all of his. Okay. So I am about to get buried, I M think. Messy Fingers is pulling ahead right now. It's true. It's true. There's something to be said for it, right? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> what is <ready>. this? <laughs> Hopefully he, this ruins what he's doing and gives me the chance to uh, eke out the win. So I'm posting the, uh, the colors in the chats uh, so you can see them. <laughs> is that just for mixing, Danny? <laughs> I'm sorry, Tony. That's all right. <laughs> uh, we got... Danny is painting on. with a drill, for those of you who... Uh, Bring it down, Danny. <laughs> This, this has got to be the painting competition equivalent of steroids. I'm going to allow it. Wow. Okay. As, as, the, de, as the de facto judge. That's fine. Take that. That's okay. Next hobby hangout, I'll just find a ridiculous way to cheat, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just bring in, like, an already... Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna, I really wanted to bring in a propane torch to try to dry the paint, but I thought Tony would yell at me. That, yeah, that, that one I'd... Perhaps yeah. excessive. I would have stared awkwardly at you from over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Just, what are you doing, Danny? What What's doing, going on, Danny? bro? Danny, what, this is my doing? space, What's Danny. Happening? <laughs> uh, so those, those colors, uh, the new colors are Sewell Red, Basilisk Brown, Soul Stalker Ink, which is like Ooh. a really bright green, Illuminated Gold, Royal Violet, and Caspian Blue. And Royal Violet and Caspian Blue, we actually showed off and featured, uh, talked about a little bit on yesterday's Get Your Paint On, uh, which uh, was not posted um, to YouTube yet. Uh, we got a little busy yesterday afternoon and didn't get around to it. 
So you can either so see it on satisfying. Twitch or I will post it uh, as soon as this stream is over. This is so sad. This is shenanigans is what this is. You mean shenanigans? Sh ah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Biggest tool for the job. That's mm -hmm. right, Ian. Hey, Ian, how's your arm feeling, dude? I'm assuming that's you, Ian, right? Which Ian? Uh, he's a student of mine. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, you're really popular out there, huh? I'm Too bad more of them aren't voting for you. I'm a pretty good, pretty good teacher. Just going to say. His horn is being tooted, everybody. Oh, okay, results are in. Tanner, oh. Tanner has pulled ahead. Woo -woo! Tanner has pulled ahead? With, with yeah, I'm the underdog. 60% of the vote. Heck yeah, son. That's nonsense. I know my boys are out there in the streets. Because <laughs> <So good. laughs> if they're like you, none of them can actually get jobs, so they're definitely going to be in the Oh, street. really? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is working way too well, by the way, painting with a drill. I don't like it. Just saying. And we're going to switch it up, though, now. Use my other favorite tool. We got a to paint rocks. We got like maybe a time update, Tony. Uh, yeah. So right now we're we're twenty minutes in. So you have forty minutes. Oof. Whoa! All the time in the <laughs> You're world. You're going down, man. Dude, it's I don't like know about that. Candy from a baby. Ooh. So for those of you who actually want to learn something, um, I am now painting with a sea sponge. Hold, hold, hold it down under in the Tell photo a little more. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold it down so people can see it. Sea sponge. He doesn't follow the rules anyways, Tony, so don't go. worry about it. Like SpongeBob. He does what he wants. SpongeBob. But uh, it's going to add, actually, I'm using it to drop my highlight color on there. It's actually going to add a nice kind of natural, stippled, stony texture. And so I'm just going to kind of add that highlight towards the top. And what I've done is I've taken that bastion gray that comes in the kit, um, and I've mixed it with Menoth White Highlight, uh, which also comes in the kit, and I'm starting to just stipple in some, 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 some highlight. I actually brought some, uh, some blister foam so I can hopefully do some sponge rust with it when we get to that point. Do we want to count hours worked in the last two weeks, Danny? Oh, that's, yeah. That, that's what does a that no have brainer. to do with anything? That's a what? <laughs> Or is that between you and me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, you're, you're you crushed, homie. Oh, I am dead. I am dead. I just wanted to understand what the context was. I think was. I probably have more Where hours than clock? everyone that's not Stu. No, Stu is, he wasn't doing any OT. That guy's an Iron Man. He wasn't doing any OT. You worked like 70 hours this last week, didn't you? Who, me? Are there even 70 hours in a week? <laughs> yeah, you can get there. No, the worst I've ever worked, not here, but the worst I've ever worked was like a 90-some hour week. Wow. But yeah, Jeff, you right. I'm not saying Tanner is not a better employee than me. I Thanks for the backup, <laughs> by the way, is. Jeff. Like, <laughs> I didn't expect Jeff to be on my side, but I Why? do appreciate it. Because Jeff is going to be on anyone's side that's not mine. Checks out. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even like me. <laughs> oh, Danny said if Tanner's friends were like him, they didn't have jobs. That's true. It's not true. Tanner has a good work ethic and stuff. It's why Aww. he's able to uh, make up for his lack of brain. Ooh, and, and painting ability. And painting ability. Yep. Uh, by just working harder than everyone else. I think that that quote was from Jeff. I just skewed it a little. It's true. It he said literally that to Wilson's face. He's like, I'm not Con. good at anything. I just work really hard. He goes, Tan nothing Tanner <laughs> does is hard. <laughs> he just works harder than everyone else. You see, right now I'm being distracted and trying to not paint. Um, no, to what give you doing? a little bit of an advantage. He know? knows that I hate to be in the spotlight, so he's psyching me out by laying the praise on me while I'm trying to get this done. Hey, how's your stuff coming? It's pretty good. I'm yeah. almost done with this brown base coat that you've been done with for a while. But nice. you keep putting your fingers in it. So. Well, that's okay, because even if it, that's why I keep my paint so wet. Because even if I... Uh, so that way put, they won't dry within the hour. That no, no. So it's <laughs> like if I put a fingerprint on the rock wall, it's just going to look like a dirt smear. If all of his uh, walls are wet still, Tony... Does yeah. that mean that they don't count because they're not finished? Uh, I don't no, like that. I, no, I think I'm <laughs> not into that at I've, all. How come he gets all the loopholes and I get none? Because you didn't plan ahead, and this is not your live stream. It's Jeff Hanley's. <sighs> it's, it's Jeff's? No, I just wanted to make that up in case <laughs> he had something sassy to say. Danny don't need to said, give, oh. Don't let it go to Jeff's head. It's already, it's already it's like there. Mr. Mackey. It's, 
That's why he lost his hair. It was because he had so much stuff go to his head that he couldn't Ooh, fit his hair in That's there a low anymore. blow. <laughs> love you, Jeff. We do love you, Jeff. We miss you. Come back. Yeah, I don't like this whole, like... Uh, not being here. I on have Friday to commute anymore. really far. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have like a three-hour commute. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Tra- right. Travis says Tony's dictator here, and um, I-, I want that to be on the official record. But I think everybody knows is that, that, Travis? that who's, my who's my Travis? my actual authority is paper thin. Who's yeah. Travis? Travis Mark. Travis Mark. Yeah. Who's that? What? He's, How dare you? He's dead to me now. <laughs> oh, he's dead to me. I have the authority here. I, I do have to give a shout out to Travis who picked me up a little something special for uh, that's going to meet me at, at Warfare Weekend. What mm-hmm. is it? Does it involve cheese? Ooh. No. Hey I'm Travis. Uh, hey, expect an email from me later today with those questions that we always have to have before conventions happen. Your boy needs a list. A list. Even if you're not running stuff. So I'm going to be moving on here in just a second from this brown base coat, and I'm going to be hitting my metal dilapidated parts here with little boiler black to Ooh, start. Oh, I love that color. So I want them to be nice and dark, and then I'm probably, if I have time, going to try to put some pig iron on there, um, and then I want to do some sponge rust with, like a, with I'm some gonna oranges wait. and browns. I'm going to wait for my stuff to dry. Still got some wet brown on here, which is kind of a pain. But look at this hand right now. That. Where's the camera even? There it is. Jeez. <laughs> I think I'm doing good. <laughs> it looks like you burned yourself. Danny, we're, uh, we're really trying to paint as awfully. many walls as fast as possible, not, not your hands. Not my hand. Why? Yeah. My hand is created Well, equal. because it's, we can only get two. And then if it was 2v2, then it wouldn't make for a very exciting Dan discriminate. Striker, you're right. When the cameras are on, I am all powerful. It's like the Wizard of Oz. I just I have command of cameras and sound at the push of a button. Who is this? Yeah, he could cancel person? us if he wants to. This striker person. He's every one time of our I've top seen, viewers. Every time I've seen him on, he comments on live stream. It's always been fantastic. Like it's always some sort of like hot take or something just like lobbed in from afar. Well, he's the one who says you're not OSHA approved. I know. I Danny know. is I absolutely and not. He's, and he's OSHA a big approved. fan of the uh, "Don't Cancel Danny" hashtag. The my favorite part about the like not OSHA approved thing, and Tanner can actually like confirm this is, I have probably the third most OSHA training in the entire building next that to might Tanner, be true. Tanner yeah, and Kelly. Be purely because of industry. Yeah, it's you and Kelly, and then I've done more OSHA training than anyone else. That's <laughs> so bad. I was like on our, I was like run, helping run our safety committee here for a while. That I think awesome. that sounds like that may be in my immediate I, future. I created the near miss form and then filed the first one ever on wow, myself. Way to set an example. On, on yourself? myself. <laughs> you know what we call that, everybody? That's integrity. <laughs> and Danny is full of it. I had a. Uh, He's I'm also full of other things, but we won't talk about yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I had a. Um, Hair dryer burst into flames in my hand. That's awesome. It Did you just run it for too long? No, it just burst into flames. You're just like, a, I'm just lucky. <laughs> Amazon. <quality. coughs> I'm dying. The cough sounded terrible. Mm. I'm, I'm bored of paying, painting this now. Wow. Can I be done? Well, if you want to lose. Now I'm adding really bright poppy edge highlights with this big brush. Well, I'm boop, already. Boop, boop got this metallic on here. I'm going to go ahead and hit these handles and the metallic parts of these doors. Like the hinges. Tanner's catching up and I'm not about it. I don't know about that. What are we, like 30 minutes in now? Any questions? If we both finish zero, we're absolutely getting canceled. I hope not. So, Tony, are you a huge Jack Johnson fan now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got to give people some context. I, 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 I had never heard Jack Johnson, music of Jack Johnson, until, yeah. until last night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I will say that, that what I heard, I really liked. It was good music. Is this by Danny's recommendation? No, not even really. Yeah. It's by Danny's judgmental nature. Continue your story, Tony. No, I was I was gonna uh, I was gonna hand it over to you. Oh, all right. So I walk in and Tony was blasting like heavy metal, like you know the <laughs> that kind of music, like 
in the studio where he was working, and I was like, this doesn't Because Tony's a high-energy person. This doesn't seem like Tony Team Dad music. Team Dad. <laughs> um, and I was like, Tony, I'm surprised by your music taste. You are like seem a lot more soft and gentle than this. And uh, he was like, well, what kind of music do you think I listen to? And I was like... Because that's what Tony sounds that like. That was a spot-on mm -hmm. impression. And I was like... You listen. To, you strike me as like a Jack Johnson, like easy listening, like indie guy. He's like, I don't even know who that is. I'm like, well, now you do. And then so I went. I went home and, and listened to Jack Johnson for the first time. And I sent Danny a text. I was like, I'm listening this to Jack Johnson my right life. now. No, it's he, he. I think he was a little upset that I thought he was that soft and. I wasn't upset. I, I, I was like, it was like I said. It was I. Uh, I was like listening to the Jack Johnson and being like, this is, if this is what people think, if this is the background music that's playing when people think of me, then I'm not nearly as edgy as I, as I, as, you as I want to be. Yeah. <laughs> I, I usually hear you're not edgy, coming out dude. of here when I walk by. You're not edgy. You know, it's still, I, I, well, you stop I know that Tony's it's true dreams. and it still hurts. Tony's like the nicest person that works here and you're just like. Dropping all over him. You have like forty tiny children. You're not edgy. He has like two. Yeah, it's just it's just the two. <laughs> it could it be feels like forty, but some it's days just two. And they're really so liking cute. This boy they're <laughs> all so adorable. Your kids kill me, man. I'm like, yes, I will buy all of the Girl Scout cookies forever. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> I just imagine that episode of The Office, like one other person comes here with children. Uh, like most people in our industry probably shouldn't procreate hot takes. So like, <laughs> the only one with, uh, it's like the only one sane enough in this, in this building for kids, basically. Sorry, everyone that has kids, but I stand by my point um, for people in this building. Uh, I'm going to just keep digging into this hole. So uh, <laughs> I just imagine the episode of The Office where somebody comes in who also has kids that needs to sell that need to sell Girl Scout cookies. And that's when the edge that Tony thinks he has actually comes out. Manifests. Yeah. He's Dana, like ripping Dana down Fest. their posters and, and their order forms. Yeah, because Tony's kids oh, always dude. crush. They always absolutely crush um the Girl Scout kids? cookies time. Well, because that's because Tony's work kids have parents that love and support them. <laughs> and they work with We gamers. weren't all so fortunate, Danny. It's like you know the episode of The Office that I'm talking about? I, no, I feel like the only person in the world that doesn't watch that show. My so girlfriend there's this great it. episode, and then there's that one dude uh, that they always fight over. There are two people that they always fight over to get all the Girl Scout cookies. He's like the bigger, really awkward dude. Um, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, the chili guy. That's yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. And they always fight over who gets to get uh, Kevin to order all the Girl Scout cookies because he always helps everyone's numbers. And it's great for Tony's kids because they work in an office. Like, he works in an office full of Kevin. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> That's good, because we have a question from Martin Granger. <laughs> it says, with the dry brushing technique, do you need to let the color dry before putting on another color, or can you do it when it's wet and kind of blend the colors into each other? I don't yes. know that dry brushing is the best thing to do over a wet layer. Yes. Yeah, well, I, I want to call this out. If we're talking about dry brushing, then the layer below needs to be dry to get the dry brushing effect. However, if the paint is wet below, now you oh, are close. wet blending. Oh, man, if I'm Danny spill spills, I'm going to be in the money. Yeah, so, Tony, uh, an actual... It's funny you ask this. So, yes, when you're dry brushing, you do want your paint to be dry, right? Um, or it's going to pick up the bottom layer and get all muddy. But that's why I actually ended up using that, uh, that sponging technique. Um, and that's something that we do a lot, like on TV shows or whatever when we're doing scenic painting because you don't always have to wait. In fact, I like to not wait for my paint to be completely dry because it'll pick up, um, it'll pick up some of the layer under it uh, and it'll actually start to kind of blend and model that color toge together and it will make it look more natural um, having some of that wet, wet, wet. Sorry, I got distracted. Wet paint. By reading, I really <laughs> like this Striker 911's post. He makes me happy. He or she, I don't know. Uh, so what Danny just or said was everyone's inner fat kid is very loud at Privateer Press. That's so true. There's, uh, there's very often donuts and other pastries on Friday Dude. mornings that someone God bless you, Chad. If you, Chad, if you're listening, thank you for bringing donuts to us. 
You're a godsend. All right, now I'm going to go in with uh, Guncore Brown. This color is great. I'm going to start to dry brush up some of this wood, 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 wood. I'm still with our sweet, large flat brush that's available on the online store. This thing actually is fantastic. It's a great brush. Especially if you're working on Colossals. It's if you a have a ratty brush. one, you can even use it as a dry brush. I, uh, and what I do is also I keep, my, I keep my ratty ones of these and I use them to clean off uh, the resin parts when I'm like, when I'm, what's it called? Like it's a tiny little broom. Yeah, that's for a my solid model. point that um, a, a paintbrush is a great tool for cleaning models as it's well. It's like if you tune in Danny, make sure your like, wall's on camera there. Oh, bring it down, bring it down. There you go. Yeah, I put little of, I put little target lines on your. How much of what I've been of doing has been on camera this whole time? Like I mean, most of it. You go approximately thirty percent. Yeah, <laughs> like you just gotta find that sweet spot. Not every you guys are working real fast and not demoing, so Dead. not everything's gonna show up. But. That sweet spot. So I want to make sure we can kind of see what's going on most of the time. Dry brush, dry brush, dry brush. What I, here's what I would like to know: Has anyone? Did anyone think? Uh, Danny or Tanner was going to win in the beginning and has now changed their mind. Ooh, yeah. Do we have any turncoats in our midst? Turncoats. Ah. I like when you try to sound smart. <laughs> wow. Turncoats. I don't have to worry about that with you because you don't try. Dude, it's so true. <laughs> <laughs> Always be yourself, Tanner. It's gotten me this far and this. Yeah. I'm surprised you're still alive. Dude, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I walk in and I actually get out of my car and haven't died. And my key card works on the place that I work is a victory. Like, that's how I knew I made it. I feel uh, super bad for Jeff rooming with us at Gen Con because he was in bed by like that 9 o'clock so, every That was so, I night. feel bad. Sorry, Jeff. So funny. They should just, yeah, I think it's going to be a rule now that I have to room with you at Gen Con. Who, me? Exclusively, probably. Oh <laughs> Who else are they going to put me with? Oh, yeah. Are you saying I'm the only one that will tolerate you now? <laughs> I mean, Swinkles rooms with me mostly. Love you guys are getting uh, the insider into the lives of uh, Privateer Press here. It's very exclusive. Hey, Tanner, pull your head back just a little bit. We're catching your hat. Yeah, Tanner, stop bad. looking at what you're painting. Yeah, excuse me. Brush, 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 just brush. Look at, mush, use mush, the, mush. Let the brush be your eyes. Brush, brush, brush. That's like Daredevil. I think I'm going to go ahead and continue with these five. With Don't. The 20 minutes that we have left. So we only have 20 minutes? Just 20. I shouldn't have given you the update. I probably could have gotten away with that. Oh, goodness. Bam. Oh, sweet. Okay, I'm going to take some Bastion Gray, and I'm probably going to go ahead and dry brush that, too. I might try Danny's little method of sponge brushing. Hopefully, it doesn't screw me. So we've got the best part is, I gave him a brush, brush that, or he doesn't know what he's doing. Kenny, I don't you know should get that wet yeah? before you do that. I'm not joking with you. You also I put a little water on it. Should I get it really wet? I mean, not really wet, I, but I it, shouldn't it, a little like a, it shouldn't be like a... It shouldn't be like a... Dry sponge. It wants to be squishy. There we go. It needs to squeak. Don't let him take away your edge, Tanner. Yeah. You, oh, you I do see. you. Oh yeah. See, I wasn't even trying to trick you. But you didn't. <laughs> I was trying to help. Remember this. Yeah. I mean, you're being a a gracious a gra opponent. Yeah. So I, I'm just gonna give this a dog. It's like charity. You know, I feel here. bad. I'm crushing you so much. Is that how this is going? Yeah. Pretty Except Jeff already called the win. Apparently, you I, haven't even hit your metallics yet, buddy. Yeah, that's because I have a trick that I'm gonna do with those metallics. Uh, okay. I'm not, I'm not worried about the metallics. Fake news. I am not worried oh, about the metallics at all. In fact, I'm gonna put some orange on this thing. What? Yeah. That's adventurous. Get worried, man. You're gonna put orange on it. Yeah, this put is orange on Inferno it? orange. Where are you gonna put it? Everywhere. You're gonna. Oh, you're just gonna paint the entire thing orange now? Pretty much. It's gonna be orange stone. Orange stone is very popular in the Iron Kingdoms, you know. And I'm gonna do this. Go up, go up, go up, up, pop, 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 pop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like a muppet. We're using that bastion gray on top of the iron hole with a little sponge brush highlight. It's a mix of my Muppet and my Georgie, or my, uh, my, my Pennywise impression. Pennywise like the clown? Yeah, dude. Nah, yeah, Georgie. Uh, no, the other one. Uh, pop, pop, pop. I, nobody loves old Pennywise. No. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Are we losing viewers yet? <laughs> Ooh, I got to go back and hit these uh, barrel ring. Actually, yeah, I'm going to. Clump, clump, clump. Orange, orange, orange. Crush, crush, crush. A brown bum, highlight. Bum, 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 bum. And any questions 
lovely viewers. Also, be sure to hashtag things, hashtag P3 kitbashers when you make cool terrain and stuff like that. Um, we make a, uh, we have a terrain Instagram where I follow and I'll, you know, maybe promote some of your guys' stuff if you post it. But our, uh, our, our, yeah, there it is. Privateer underscore press underscore terrain. Um, after, since I'm back up after the move, I've been, uh, I've been posting a lot more recently. Like I think I had like two or three posts yesterday. One of which was me destroying a model with a hammer to try to add weights to the bottom of a piece of terrain I was making. Tanner gave me extra miscasts of some metal, and I'm like, I'm not going to remelt this. I need to add weights to the bottom of this. And it was really fun to smash it with a hammer into shape. So right now I've got a small flat brush and some bootstrap leather, and oh, I'm just kind of taking a real quick highlight. Oh, just kind of following, that looks good. The, following the planks of the barrels and just kind of give it a swath across each plank. A swath. But you can see, like, we're getting a lot of mileage out of some of the colors that come here. Like, I'm going to go in with some rucksack tan, which comes in the kit. Uh, and um, let's see. Man, Striker, you are a machine with these posts. <laughs> yes, it's so true. So does everyone play in a tournament and loser is stuck rooming with Danny? Pretty much. Pretty much. I did go 0 and 3 in my last tournament. So. Did you? Yes, I did. I got crushed. So I'm going with a uh, rucksack tan and um, and some Menoth white highlight, and I'm gonna I'm using this really crappy brush that I've like beaten up over time, and I'm gonna offload almost everything, and I'm just gonna vertically. Oops. I'm gonna take some of this highlight and put it in the dirt as well while I've already got Screw it. Screw that brush. up. And I'm just gonna try to yeah add a little bit of. A little bit of grain from this that so barrel. If I had the time and we weren't doing a, a speed thing, I would probably throw a little flock on these if you have them, but they'd be all right either way. Kind of hear where the dirt's at. Mm -hmm. 42. Mm -hmm. I think we're sitting in a pretty, I'm getting pretty confident here, Danny. <laughs> Are you going to get 70% of the way through all of those and not finish any of them? Ooh. That's oh, what it looks like from where I'm sitting. Tanner's still ahead, but, uh, but Danny's kind of hey, pulled up a little bit. He was a little behind. He got a few more votes now. Nice. It's fine. They probably like saw all his brown underdog. base coating and got overconfident. The underdog. It's fine. Who, you? Yep. That's me. Nah, man. I came in the underdog. I'm just winning the hearts and minds of fans. That's reasonable. <laughs> and it, to be expected. I'm the villain. You would make a solid villain. I would make a Tall people with black hair. Crazy, villains. unhinged villain. Danny Elias Bubness says uh, he'd start losing on purpose if he got a chance to sit and paint with Danny on a stream and paint model stuff. That's very nice of you to say. Oh. Um, and a huge mistake. Apparently, it also means you haven't spent a lot of time with Danny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe you should reserve that for Jordan. <laughs> Danny's really feeling the love. <laughs> no, if just, he gets sad, he's going to slow down. No, no, no. I'm actually just focused now because <clears throat> I actually want to crush you. Oh, yeah? Okay, it's armor wash time, everybody. Which is actually a little risky because we're getting down to the wire. Are we? Wait, how much time do I actually have? You have uh, 16 minutes. We won't, we oh, won't necessarily so end the stream time. right at, at 11, but it's uh, hands-off projects at 11. So much uh -oh. time. Uh-oh. That is a little too much brown there. That is so much time. Wait, time out. I should actually yeah, probably start like finishing some of these and then coming back to. Yeah, I started looking at the time and I was yeah. like, okay, I got all this base coating and I'm just going to pick a couple of them and work forward with those. Yep. So now I'm adding Menoth White highlight with a little bit of uh, rucksack tan to these. Um, these sandbags here. I'm throwing an armor wash on my stone, and then I'm going to throw a brown wash on my dirt barrels and doors. All right, so there's that. Okay. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, that's too wet. No, no. I'm feeling the heat. I'm feeling the heat literally. That, like a metal casting joke or something? No, no, it's just warm. Oh. 
Is that a metal casting joke? We don't joke in metal casting. We take our jobs very seriously, Danny. I don't believe you. No, you shouldn't. We do take our jobs seriously, though. I don't believe you. <laughs> it's not all fun and games. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah. Bam. We make toys, <clears throat> dude. We make we make models and toys for I'm a living. Come putting on. this black wash on top of my boiler. Tony, you're awfully quiet over well. there. I'm just watching. I'm watching what's going on. This is actually. I was going to ask you about uh, about your plan for those sandbags. So, what color are you putting down? This is a metal white highlight with a touch of rucksack tan. Okay. And then, what are you going to do over that? Uh, don't you worry about it yet. <laughs> I have for my sandbags over here. I'm going to base coat them with Hammerfall khaki and give them a jackbone highlight. See, that's how cool Tanner is. He was willing to give you his recipe for what he's planning yeah, to do. Yeah, well, I'm in it. You're to playing win it. it close to the vest. I'm in it to win it. I can't give Tanner or, the technique. That's all right. I close can close to the jab. jacket with, with uh, elbow pads. Dude, I need that. <laughs> you got to get one that's just covered in paint that you wear. And like flock oh, Alec, you Alex asking for an update on the who's winning. Uh, so the poll says Tanner is going to win still, um, as is expected. So does reality. And, but what's, can you guys give us a count of, of where you are and kind of what I your progress is? I am shooting to finish five of them based on the time we have left. How much time do we have left? Uh, 13 minutes. Yep. I'm going to finish all of them. That's all right. Mine are going to be nicer. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> go big or go home. I'm totally not finishing all of them. I was going to be so I'd be really impressed if you actually did. I mean, we'll see. I might get close. Uh, the thing I am worried about is uh, is drying time. Honestly. Yeah, getting uh, getting our dry brushes on over a wash oh, is going to be the hardest. Because because your boy needs to get some wash on this. <laughs> it's going to be a real problem. <laughs> Yeah, this is, reminds me of like those cooking shows where they're like down to the wire of their 30 minutes, and they're like, I gotta put the garnish on. <clears throat> My bread's not rising. I mean, that's how matzo was made in Passover. They didn't have time to let the bread rise. They had to run. They had to dip. Yeah. Matzo is so overrated. It's not good. Yeah? No. I remember uh, somebody brought it in when we were in elementary school, and that was my only experience. It just kind of was like a cracker with no salt. Is with basically how nothing I good it. on it, yeah. A really dry, bland, terrible cracker. Grew up on that. Yeah? It was a yeah. fixture of your childhood? Yeah. Oh, keeping kosher. Oh, good. Man, there are so many, like, hidden sandbags on these things. Yeah, there's a lot. I am not, <laughs> not about it. You feeling a little betrayed by the bags? Yeah, why did I choose to paint this? Oh, another thing we might be doing, guys, is uh, we might start selling some of our other resin terrain from tournaments. So definitely keep an eye out for that. We, have, we do have many a plan for that sort of stuff. All right, what now? How much time do I got? None. None at all. Judge, Brush time. Down. I believe that's you, Tony. Tony! Hold on, I'm talking to chat. You have 11 minutes. <laughs> Man, I gotta get some metal on this thing. You are going so down, homie. Oh no. Oh no. This is not, no bueno. This is not how we planned this. They are who we thought they were. I love that you just did that quote. <laughs> is that Herm Edwards? Ah, uh, it might not. Was it? Football. Sport ball. Yeah. I don't remember who. Egg I know, I know punch it was a toss. Coach. Egg punch toss? Yeah, that's what I call football. Okay. I've heard hand egg before. I've never hand heard egg. punch toss, but I do. I just made it up. Hand egg. Tony was bragging to me earlier about how good he is secretly at sports and how he likes to be a surprise. But he's very tall, fit, and athletic looking. I don't know why yeah. you'd be surprised. I'm not surprised. That's why he said. Tony's I, basically our resident Greek god. Man, do I need to like leave the room for you too? Maybe. Tony and I are very good friends. We hang Just out. Just write, write up, write this all down. I'll read it later. We uh, we basically live in each other's backyards. You just watch him sleep, don't you? I do. 
I'm watching him sleep right now. <laughs> I like to watch Tony sleep, too. We are so getting canceled. It's so true. <laughs> it was a good run. We'll go down in history. At least a we got to finish it with this, with this head-to-head match. We'll go up in a blaze of glory. Maybe we'll, st- we'll start our own stream with Futurama references. Danny Elias uh, is talking about, you said that we were going to have more of these available as kits. He's seen pictures that he, uh, that, of things that he would love to become viable kits. So if, for those of you watching, if you aren't aware, ho- on Hobby Hangout, uh, oftentimes Danny will put together some sort of kit-bashed project using Privateer Press resin parts, and we make those kits available uh, in our online store. So if you go to the online store, store.privateerpress.com, and type in Hobby Hangout into the search bar, you will get a list of all the Hobby Hangout projects that we have. All right, I'm finished with the black wash. I'm moving on to the brown wash. I'm really struggling here. Are you? Yep. Bit off more than I can chew. Saw that coming. I'm going to need a miracle. Or that's what he's going to need to let Tony let you cheat again. But that's what I'm made of. <laughs> Miracles. Do I get extra points for like coming close? Extra no, points? this this is this is a binary competition. Win so or win the, or lose. The yeah. pure number that I finish. Yep. All right, fine. We're gonna switch. Well, no, I, this is how this works. You're gonna paint as many as you can, and then I will determine a winner. <laughs> All right. So there's no official criteria. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Roll Tony. a dice, then decide who goes first. Literally, Tony just said, "I am God," and you will listen. I think I think that was confirmed by the chat on stream earlier. I would follow you, Tony. That's I feel it. like Tony would be a good cult leader. I think I'd be a good cult leader too. But then we'd all die very quickly. Oh yeah, this is getting morbid. No, just like, who would want? I mean, I feel like the cult of Danny. I feel like people would just. They wouldn't be safe. They wouldn't be safe in your no, cult. Just every. Isn't that your responsibility so many to make poor them safe? Decisions. You do. Yeah. Oh, well, at least you're honest. All right, metal is a pain. I'm really annoyed by this. I'm using a giant brush and trying to paint this metal. See, I don't even need fancy tricks, like uh, drills attached to my brushes. I'm just cool. I'm still going to Good old-fashioned technique. I'm actually coming back. Tony, how much time we got? Uh, you have seven minutes. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> coming back. Oh, wait. Whoops. Sorry. I just cursed on live stream. Oh, no. Hashtag don't cancel Danny. It is a few and far between that I am the one with the clean mouth. Yeah, right? (laughs) (laughs) I was actually worried before uh, going on to my first stream that I was going to screw that up. Yeah, I'm worried every day. I'm worried every day. I'm not super worried if a little bit of this brown wash gets on my metallics because this stuff's all dirty and dilapidated anyways. All right, it's time. It's time, Tanner. It's time? It's time for me to do the thing. This is the part where he adds 10 minutes to the clock. All comes together. And he just cheats his way to the victory. It's all going to come together. Just you wait. Like A-team style? (laughs) <laughs> Jeff Hanley's pointing out, I don't think Danny has realized the hashtag has changed from don't cancel Danny to, to cancel Danny. Danny yeah. <laughs> I'm sad. Oh, man. Well, that wasn't dry. Uh-oh. Womp womp. Is that the nail in the coffin, Danny? I mean. Is it game over? Not quite. Game over, man. Game over, man. The most important thing is that we are absolutely not going to be friends after this. We never were. Nope. Danny and I never really got along. We're just kind of doing this out of professional courtesy because Tony asked us to. We're actually probably going to go have a fight in the parking lot. And you know who's going to win? That one? Me. Tanner. (laughs) Tanner. Without a single question. (laughs) I'm sad that I got zero credit in the who wins in Tanner versus Ron. I'm very sad about that. Not a chance in the world. Not a single chance. Ron would w- wipe the floor with you. Let's, let's make this the first privateer press rumble. And we'll, uh, we'll Instead of extreme tickets. colossal wrestling, yeah. we exactly. just make you fight our We'll do this director. at lock and load, and we'll just have like a boxing exhibition that people can pay five Ron would to kill you. Nah, dude. I have immense 
self-esteem, <laughs> self-confidence. <laughs> I feel like Ron can just like look at something and turn it into a weapon. It was uh, outside dumping some trash at the end of shift yesterday, and one of the metal casting guys was out there, and he had a, he had a knife in his hand because he was cutting open a box. And so he just kind of like made a little motion towards me just messing around. And I was like, I like my chances. And oh there was a pause, and God. I was like, of getting stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So we should have thought of this sooner, but I put up a timer for oh. how much time you have left. So now you can look at the screen. Oh, boy. And how time, time is up when it hits zero. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to, uh, ooh, where are we at? I don't have time to look at a screen. I'm busy, Tony. I'm going on to my Menoth white highlight on the stone. Do it. Hopefully my brush isn't too brown. See and this? Hopefully I have some time to get some more. The darn sandbags stuff. are not dry. That's the problem here. That's going to be the nail in my coffin. But other than that, I'm pretty darn close to being done with all of these. Just putting a little Menoth white highlight dry brush on the corners and like the big faces of these bricks. I don't want to cover them completely. I'm just washing the whole thing with muddy wash mixed with armor wash. And if you do it too thick, you're really going to mess up the color. It's very important to just kind of be real light with this when you're doing the off-white highlight on your stone. And I'm using my uh, paper towel to kind of stipple some... Uh, Stipple the wash around so it looks a little bit more natural. Danny's a stippling master. I'm also bringing some of that muddy wash into the rocks to add some shadows and kind of smearing it off. How am I doing on the poles, Tony? Let's check it out and see if we have a change. Oh, we are back to 50-50. Dang it, guys. Yeah. Yep. If Danny wins, I'm going to cry, and it's going to be your fault. I might win, man. You might win. Where are we at time-wise? Like three minutes or less? Two minutes and 51 seconds. All right. What, do I, what can I do with okay. this time? Let's see. You guys are getting uh, ditched. Let's do cold and steel. It's Quick time. Silver. Going hammerfall khaki to base coat my sandbags, and if I'm real lucky, I will get two of these done. I'm going to pop metals with uh, Quicksilver. A little bit of harsh edge highlighting in some places. I don't think I'm going to get to the rust that I wanted to do. And hopefully I can put a jackbone highlight on this if it dries fast right. enough. And then, uh, let's see, do I have time for some Menoth White highlight? Probably. Just a little bit. Just a wee bit. Are short walls worth one point and long walls worth two points? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't think Tony's been upfront enough about the rules of this contest. I don't appreciate your rules lawyering right now. Yeah, well, Tony. You focus him. on what you need to do. I'm sorry. When with my, your when one my minute and forty nine seconds later, and Danny's later. are worth ten. Then you know, with my what? How long do I have? One minute and forty two seconds. Oh my goodness! So screwed. <laughs> Going in and adding some really harsh edging to just try to distract the judges from the bad parts. So now he's using cover-ups. I mean, it's using high contrast to lead the eye where you want the viewer to see is just a basic art principle, Tanner. Tanner has pulled ahead again. Thanks, everybody. God darn it. It's because they're, uh, they're looking at my stone highlight in my sand. Oh, hold on. People are asking for the link, so we'll... Let me post the link. Yeah, buy then, this stuff, guys. And then we'll it's get sweet. An update. No, I mean a, a link for the uh, for the poll. I think for the poll. Oh, get your last minute but votes we will, in. We will also post the link to buy um, the walls again. Okay, so there's the poll, and then here is the link to buy the walls. How much time we got? Less than a minute now? 24 seconds. Uh -oh. oh my god. Oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> Come here, pig iron. Oh great.
great. This one's nice and thick, too. <laughs> Perfect. With two C's. Five, four, three, two, one. Brushes down, brushes down, brushes down. Tanner, Sorry. Tanner. Sorry. Jeez, oh. look at that. I'm trying to cheat. All right. Danny so. already had his paints in the palette when he started. <laughs> A paint. So now line line them up. Put them put them on uh, under your camera. We're gonna go from so we can see them all. Yeah. Finish finish my brushes finish. for a sec. All oh, I can I call the studio painted ones that are over here mine too. To call this one done would be to finish those barrel rings, but I could not finish that barrel ring in time. All right, so wait, we're lining these up? Yeah. Did you finish any 100%? I think so. I think wow. I finished almost all of them 100%. Wow. Pretty close. They could use some sprucing, but, I mean, they could go on a table. Then that probably means that I got crushed, like, 12 to 0, then. So how many did you finish, Tanner? Just those three? None. <laughs> well, show, I mean, show, show the ones that you got through, right? So this one is, like, 90% done. Still can't uh, I didn't get key. all the way around these barrel rings, and I would have liked to have highlighted the sandbags. Uh, however, I'm pretty happy with the stone and the wood texture. Um, I would have liked to get some sponge rust on this right here. And then this one is almost to the level of that, but I didn't get to the barrel rings at all. These ones, you can see the metallics a little better, which I would have liked to highlight, but didn't get the opportunity. No sandbags done on this one. So this is where I got, got some rust, got some sandbagginess, got some texture. Whoops, there's a big fingerprint I just put on that guy. Some sandbag. I would have liked to push the sandbags a little bit more, but I kind of ran out of time, so I just made them really dirty at the end. Like, when in doubt, covered in dirt. Uh, so, you know, I, I wish I could have done some wood grain. I think you were able so to what, get a lot out of your uh, metal, whereas I spent more time, like you said, well, doing my wood grain. You know what it was? was uh, for the metal, I just slammed a bunch of... That's where that orange came in. Mm -hmm. I slammed a ton of orange in there. And then I stippled a little bit of metallic, and then I just washed the whole thing with muddy wash to make it read, and it just ended up looking like crusty, nasty metal. And it had these touches of, of shine. So, like, when in doubt, don't paint all the way to the edge. Just, like, you know, make it crusty and nasty. And nobody will notice. How are your hands looking there, Danny? Amazing. I'm not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Correlation is not causation, <laughs> but, <laughs> but... So I was hoping to uh, get back around to the metal and take... I got some blister foam here, and I also have these uh, sea sponges that Danny gave me. And I was just going to take like a, like a lighter brown and just take some of this foam and stipple some of that lighter brown and maybe like a lighter metallic because this is a boiler black to start with in some spots and then like a... Like a orange that's mixed down a little bit to a darker brown. Still can't beat the master. It's true. Yeah, like I said, Danny is a professional. Uh, I definitely feel like I hold my own, though. I did, uh, did all right. Got a lot of work By holding you own, you mean get shellac. Yeah, no, I, I, mean, that I can was absolutely a, take a loss with that dignity. That was a shutout. I got it's like your Steelers. It's like your Steelers playing my Bengals. The ones who have yet I got to my pick revenge. up a win. For yep. years of football, uh, how else can I <laughs> gloat? Um, you're bad and I'm good. Um, huh. Danny That's all you is. Got, huh? uh, <laughs> thanks, Tony. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> what? Points for arrogance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Travis. I appreciate. I appreciate that. He knows that how much time, love, and effort went into my wood grain, and he's just so impressed by that. That uh, <laughs> it blows away your actually finished pieces. <laughs> Thanks, John Thomas Acton. Danny's looks way better. Damn. Nice. Thanks. Yep, that's all right. Like I said, he's literally a professional. Danny is dot, 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 really energetic. Thanks, Jeff. Which Jeff? Hanley. Oh. Well, it's I mean, true. is this your first day on the job? We all know it's Danny. True. I came in hot today, too. I was all like an energizer. Buddy. Yeah, because you knew we were going to throw down, and you were excited. Well, it's also Friday. It is Friday. It's Friday. actually Friday for the first time in a while. And with that, we're going to start wrapping it up. We're going to so we miss had, you guys. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for, for tuning in. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. We had Tan stuff. Tanner is the fan favorite. Yeah. But pretty much shut out by, by Danny producing. Yes, I 
have to admit. <laughs> more than more than annihilated. twice as many walls in the same <laughs> amount of time. Loser. All right, Danny. Say goodbye. See you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, everyone. <laughs>